intuitive edge. Welcome to Coffee and Conspiracies, where we look where the mainstream media won't in an effort to get to the truth. Today we're going to look at what happened in Christchurch, New Zealand. The first question is the issue. We have the Nine of Wands. This is like waiting for something to happen. The Nine of Wands is about waiting, could be strategizing, but waiting for something to happen. It can indicate knowing ahead of time, but planning, much planning and waiting for the right time. It's a card about timing. The next question is, did anyone really die? And I've got the Knight of Pentacles Reversed, Knight of Pentacles, reversed. Um, this card is about being stuck, not moving forward, not, it's like not, not having a path, not moving forward, stagnation, being obstructed, but have lacking momentum to move forward. And on that specific question of did anyone die, and you've got this card that is lacking momentum and lacking a way forward, makes me, makes me wonder. So the next question is, was this, was this an operation, like a, like a black op or some type of military, black military op? And I've got the nine, another nine. So two nines are flanking that stagnation of the night. This is the Nine of Swords. It came in reversed. This is the card of mental anguish. The next question is the hidden behind the scenes. I've got the Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords. It came in reversed. This is a card about, aces are always new beginnings, trying to get something started, get something going. <clears throat> and I'm focused in on this card with those vines coming in around the sword. I'll show you this picture again. Show it reverse the way I'm looking at it. But you've got this, these, this hand on the sword and the vines coming in around it makes me feel like an, an effort, a new effort to, with that hand on the sword, which is a weapon, like gaining control over the weapon. And this is on the question of the hidden, what's behind the scenes. So I think there may be some truth to people's concerns that this is a way to restrict access to weapons or a form of gun control. Now, if that's a form of gun control, then the, the greater question is, was it done deliberately as a means to control the guns? The next question is the truth. <clears throat> and I've got the two of pentacles. This is a card of weighing your options. Calculating risk, weighing options. The energy of this is very much tied into the previous card. Their energies is facing the previous card of the swords. And it's all about calculating risk or taking, weighing options and calculating that risk. And also with the card with on the question of what is the truth, 
and that truth is looking back toward the sword card in the reading. And I'll show I'll show the the spread at the end of this video so you can see it. But it's facing back so that I think the truth is about the confiscation of weapons and an act to control access to guns. So the next question is, what can or should we learn from this? What's the lesson? And this is the only major arcana that showed up, as you know, for if you've been watching my videos or if you know tarot, major arcana cards carry a little more weight in a reading. They're like, pay attention here. So on the question of what's the lesson, I had the fool card upside down. So here's the fool card. This is somebody blissfully unaware that they're about to fall off a cliff, okay? And it's reversed. You know, the imagery of this card, there's, there's some more... I, the vine energy, like trying to get tentacles around the sword in the other card, there's also some... There's a in the imagery of this card. There's a plant vine around this person, too, that's about to walk off the cliff. And it feels like this this energy of, of not letting things pull you or distract you or, or make you unaware of what's really going on. It's like there get there's clutter or those tentacles of those vines to me is like little ways of of cluttering up the issue and when i see it on on the imagery of this person walking it's like this trying to clutter or cloud up their pathway so that they don't see what's ahead and to not let things get in the way of the truth of what of where you're going and what what am I trying to say? It's like it's like when you're when you're going down a path, you're you need to be able to see where you're going. And sometimes things can cloud your vision of where you're heading. And I think a lot of this is a distraction for what really is going on. And when, if you're just, if a person is just looking at what happened and not looking at what's underneath and what's going on behind the scenes and what the real motive and effort is going on behind, then it's like you're going to be caught off guard and, and end up falling off the cliff in the imagery, so to speak. And it's going to take you somewhere where you don't want to be in the future. The next question was just basically kind of how this is all going to pan out. What's the outcome? I've got the seven of pentacles. This is a card about reflecting, reflecting on what's happened, reflecting on where you've been and where you want to go. And kind of, taking a moment to, to look at things and think things through a little bit. So that's encouraging. I hope that that does happen, that there is more reflection, self-reflection, that there's more questioning about what took place so that this isn't used to, to just steer in a certain direction before you really understand what's really going on behind the scenes. This, this, to me, feels like an effort to control with that, that hand, like, wanting on that weapon in that swords card. It really stuck, stuck out to me. <laughs> Underneath, we had the Three of Wands. And this is a card of vision. Looking forward to the future and where you're going, where you're headed. And that, that is nice, too. We have some energy around that, like looking forward, where are we headed with this? So I think the idea is that's coming forth is 
to not let the immediacy of, you know, and, and be in like a reactive mode. The immediacy of what happened, oh my gosh, makes everybody freak out and react. It's helpful to take time to look at what's taking place so that you can come from a place of logic and reason and not gut reaction and response. Because gut reaction and response is what can lead people to ending up where they don't want to be. Because they're not creating, they're reacting. When you use logic and your mind and you think things through, then you can pl then you can better manage where you're heading. It's all about the mind. It's all about how we want to end up, where we want to end up, how we want to get there. If someone is just constantly reacting to situations, this is this reminds me of when people are hooked on drama. Some people thrive on drama. But when someone's hooked and thrived on drama, they're they're bouncing from one reactive state to another and they're not being grounded and centered and directing their life in a positive manner moving forward. They're being bounced off of this and bounced off of that. And it leads to this feeling of instability, which is what drama is. So I feel like this is guarding, guarding against that, using logic and thinking things through and knowing what's really going on without before you react to something. And that's, I think, the lesson with any major event like this is everybody wants to scramble, ooh, gun control, ban the guns. And that's, that's reaction. That's not logic. That's not taking time out. And that's not, that's not thinking it through. And if you think about it, people that want to take guns or want to constrict or or control the lives of others will use events like these in order to create that instability, to get people off center so that they're more controllable. That's how I see it. And uh, anyway, I think that's it for this video. Um, I appreciate you stopping by my channel. If you liked it, leave a like, please subscribe. I'll make more. Join me on my blog if you'd like to, intuitiveedgetarot.blog. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.